Okay, hi. Um, this is your fourth video boost. Um, what I'm going to do in this video boost is make you think a little bit about ortho, para, ortho, para, and meta substitution on aromatic rings. Okay, so um, let's just start thinking about ortho and para tonight. Supposing you had this, this is kind of a follow-up to what we did in class today. And the idea behind these little video exercises is to save us a little time, because we are behind right now. So these are literally boosts, okay? So supposing you were doing a nitration, HNO3, on this, this molecule. If you looked on the sheets that I gave you in class, this kind of group is considered to be an OP director and an activator. Okay? Now, we taught, spoke in class that the reason this is so is because this has lone pairs adjacent to the ring, even though this group is electronegative and it's pulling electron density through the sigma bond. It's actually pushing electron density through the pi system, and we want to show that, okay? This is nitration, and what these reagents generate is NO2 plus. And in class, we showed how to generate that. So let's look at para attack, okay? If we do a para attack, like so, okay, we will end up with this. intermediate. And we've been practicing a lot drawing resonance forms, okay? So there are actually four resonance forms I can draw for this structure. So I'm going to do that quickly here. You would get this resonance form with the plus charge on the site bearing the oxygen. NO2 down here, I'm abbreviating, okay? Another resonance form that looks like this. These are the traditional resonance forms. But we have one additional resonance form because of the lone pair on this oxygen. This lone pair will delocalize into this positive charge and stabilize the charge. And this is what I meant about push-pull. The oxygen is pulling density through the sigma bond, but it's pushing density through the pi system. So this lone pair, this is what I called one bond resonance in class, will be shared between this O and this positive charge, giving you giving you this structure. Okay, we'll put this in brackets. All right, now, the reason you will find a similar set of resonance forms if you t attack ortho, the ortho position is electronically identical. Okay, so if we attack, you should try attacking ortho, you will get the same thing. You'll get the same intermediate, okay? But let's consider attacking meta, okay? So supposing I did the same attack, meta. This is something we started to discuss in class today. This is a different substrate. So here's my NO2 again. This is meta attack. Meta is 1, 3 with respect to with respect to this hydroxyl that's in the molecule. Okay, so we get that cation. Now what's different about this cation? It is allylic, okay, but let's draw the resonance forms. If we draw the resonance forms, you will notice that the charge misses the site bearing the OH. So in this case, when we do meta attack, We 
only get three resonance forms in the hybrid. Now again, ortho or para attack, we get four. Meta attack, we only get three. So which carbocation is more stable? The ortho and para attacks are more stable because the cation has more distribution of charge and therefore has a lower transition state. These reactions are really all about intermediates and kinetics, okay? The kinetics associated with intermediates. So this intermediate is less stable, and because it's less stable, it forms at a slower rate. That's the Hammond postulate. Now, how do you finish these reactions? You'll recall from lecture, we took water, pulled this off, and reformed the product. But again, in this case, this product would be a minor product because it goes through a less stable intermediate. So you're going to notice with orthopara directors that there is either an additional resonance form or there is a more stable resonance situation due to the electron donation of the group. In this case, the group is donating through the pi system. It's not donating. It is actually an electron withdrawing group, as was mentioned in class. So the next boost I'm going to do is going to be on meta-directors and why they're meta-directors. Okay, thank you. See you in class.